Hey Broadway Box, this is Josh Ferry. I'm here at the most Tony nominated show of the year, Natasha Pierre in the Great Comet of 1812. And I'm with the Tony nominated leading lady, Danae Benton. Hi. She plays Natasha, obviously. And she is fierce AF. <laughs> We're about to do 20 questions in two minutes. Brilliant. Are you excited? Yes. Are you ready? Let's do it. We're gonna start it. the timer after I ask the first question. Great. Which is based on the prologue. Okay. Which is, when you were young, what did you love with all your heart? Ooh, my mom. Uh, what in here helps you get into character? <gasps> my my corset. <laughs> How did the role of Natasha first appear on your radar? An audition through my email through my agent. Cool. Uh, what's the last letter you wrote? Oh my gosh. I wrote one to Usher McDonald thanking her for everything she's meant to me and getting me to feel like I could do this role on Broadway. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> what costume piece would you take if you could take just one? My coat. Mm. Uh, what's your favorite small moment with Josh Groban? The end when I touch his face. Mm. It breaks my heart. What's the most challenging moment in the show for you? Breaking down in tears or running up stairs in a corset and belting an F. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard. What moment are you living your absolute best life each night? Uh, this winter sky, how can everyone sleep and no one else and all the light bulbs come down and I'm center stage and it's amazing. How did it feel the first time you saw yourself on like marquee, billboards, all that? It was really special because we hadn't started rehearsals yet and I wasn't tired, and so I was just living it up. <laughs> what advice would you give to Natasha? Oh, wow. It's like I'm proud of her for following her heart, but like maybe take a deep breath and just talk to Sonia. She cares about you. <laughs> how did Natasha change from ART? Um, she figured out how to take care of her bunions. No, um, I got <laughs> a lot of vocal help and figured out how to do this technically. What excites you most about your next Pierre Oak? Oh, wow, I'm excited. He's gonna be incredible because he's a perfect Pierre, but I'm also excited for the representation that two black people are gonna yes. start in the show, and that's amazing and important. What role in high school or college put you on the path to Tony nominee? Probably when I did Aida in high school. Uh, what's your style motto? Ooh. Like, what's your rule for yourself? My rule for myself is like, I have to feel fly. Uh, all right, I loved Unreal. What's your favorite reality show? Uh, probably Millionaire or Matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's a Mormon mishap? I forgot the words of Salt Lake City. Oh my gosh. Who's the first call after your Tony nomination? My mother. Uh, what's one rule of your Tony dress? It has to be a bright, beautiful color. One thing that's going to be in your clutch? My chapstick. And finally, what Tony performance you can watch on loop all the time? What Tony performance can I watch on loop all the time? Uh, probably see the Arrivo singing The Color Purple. Oh, same. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. I think we got through it all. Yeah, we did. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. Um, come see Great Comet. She's here at the Imperial Theater. I'm here. Eight times a week. Check it out. Yes. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Bye.